Hello, friends and foes, lovers and haters. Welcome to a brand new story. Welcome to Bodega Cat. A bodega seems to be a special kind of shop. We are playing as a cat that is working there. This shop belongs to our friend L. Let's see what will happen during the day. 6 a.m. The rising sun shines through the smudged windows and reflects off of the slightly dusty shelves. The bell above the door jingles as the first customer arrives in the bodega. We have to be polite and very friendly, no matter how shitty we are feeling, because our customers must be happy and satisfied. They don't forget, and we want them to come back again and again and again. More customers mean more money and more treats. For the sympathetic and busy Bodega Cat. Welcome, Meow. The customer greets you back with an attempt to pet you. Do you let them pet you or swipe at them for invading your space so early in the morning? Let's play our role and let them pet you. The customer gives the bodega owner an extra tip and leaves. Look how happy I am. I like it whenever I feel a human hand on my head and between my ears. I am smiling, that's so great. Because of the color of my fur, I look like a banana. You get a treat for being a good bodega cat. Fine, delicious. 10 a.m. Word got around about how polite the cat in Els Bodega is and business is booming just a few hours into the day. El is scrambling to keep up with the customers when he runs out of bills for change. He leaves to the back room to get bills from the safe. When he comes back, you notice the safe was left cracked open and there's a stash of special treats peeking out, calling your name. Eat us, eat us, El Gato. Mm. They look tasty. Do I sneak some of the treats while El is busy? Or do I close the safe for him? I don't need to sneak. Because sooner or later, I will get them anyway. I close the safe for him. I'm a very good shop assistant cat. Hmm, I got a reward again. I am a hero. You decide to close the safe for your owner since he's obviously too busy to notice he left it open. While you are closing the safe, you notice a suspicious customer lurking away from the back room and out of the storefront. Dangerous! This guy is dangerous! No telling what he would have done 
if the safe stayed open. You go back to lie next to the register as the rush is dying down. Elle noticed you closing the safe for him and he gives you some special treats as a reward. Yay, thank you. I love my job, it's Kitty's paradise. 11 a.m. You notice something small and brown, scampering next to the pantry aisle. You use your adept vision and sneaking abilities to get a closer look. It's a mouse. Eat it! Yeah, eat it! First beat it, then eat it! The mouse seems fairly harmless. And you're feeling pretty tired after closing that heavy safe door. Then again, getting rid of this mouse is kind of your entire job description. I can let the mouse go or go after it. I am a cat and this is a mouse. Just a hint. A mouse doesn't have a naked tail. This nice furry friend is a rat. Maybe it's a mixture. A mouse rat. Why not? I go after the mouse. This is what I was born for. The mouse has been vanquished by you, trusty bodyguard cat. Bring the mouse back to your owner to demonstrate your raw power and skill. Nice catch. Thank you for the compliment. Do I get some fine treats now? Please, please, please. Yes. My thick belly tells everything. 12 p.m. The amount of treats you are receiving is fattening. And you are loving every second of it. Good job, Bodega Cat. Thanks. I know. 1 p.m. Elle's bladder isn't what it used to be. So he asks you to run the register for a minute while he takes a leak. And so I do. I'm his assistant. I run the register. The first cat in the world that is able to do this. Your cold stare prevents customers from stealing. One customer is so afraid of your piercing glare that when Al gets back, he accidentally pays twice the price of his chocolate milk and hurries out without his change. Al gives you more treats. Yeah, you're the best boss in town, Al. Digest your treats by taking a long nap. 5 p.m. You wake up as business is picking up again. Time flies as you and Elle work through the rush side by side. I'm working much more than him. 7 p.m. The sun is setting. You notice a mysterious figure lurking by the shop window. It passes. 9 p.m. Hours have passed. Business is so slow to the point that Elle's snores can probably be heard outside of the bodega. You notice the mysterious figure is back. Do I leave it alone or check it out? I have to check it out. While looking around for the figure, that seems to disappear again. You notice a 
Familia Kitty hanging out by the edge of the store. It's your ex-boyfriend. Mm, what a coincidence. What a cool guy. He looks like a jerk. He is smoking and has a sexy tattoo. Am I happy with this? Bread. A rush of emotions surge through you. Brad was your first love. Al always kicked him out. Said he didn't want you hanging around such a bad influence. But Brad made you feel alive. I am sure he is the boss of a street gang that is until he broke your heart oh what a bad boy brad approaches you cautiously he wants to start over wow what a moving twist i can forgive him Rekindle your romance. Oh, how sweet. Two tales. And censorship. You pain mingles perfectly with the love you still hold for bread as you rekindle your romance in a passionate whirlwind before finally heading back into the store. Inside the bodega, there's a man with a black mask covering his face. The man is holding a gun to Al and forcefully telling him to show him the safe. I save my special treats and my owner. I have a good and big kitty heart. I will save all of us. No one will be left behind. You rush towards the robber in an sneak attack and knock the gun out of his hand. Using your claws and all of the will in your Odega cat body, you hold off the robber long enough for Elle to call the police. The police arrive not shortly after. 11 p.m. The night begins to slow once again. The robber is gone and so are most of the customers. Elle is so thankful for all of your help, he decides to give you all of the special treats you want from here on out. Yeah, you're the best, bro. No amount of special treats can help him repay you for your bravery. That's right. Hmm, yes, I love this ending. 12 a.m. Al locks up the shop for the day and praises you one more time with a few head scratches. It's been a successful day once again for Bodega Cat. Which other paths are left? We could try out. I think there are also some bad endings. Luckily, we got the good one. Now we go back to sleep instead of welcoming the customers. You wake up feeling refreshed but still sluggish 
from your short catnap. Business has picked up while you were away in dreamland. Al is scrambling to keep up with the customers when he runs out of bills for change. He leaves to the back room to get bills from the safe. Okay. The other choice has no other consequences. Now I don't close the safe, but sneak some of the treats. Will I get punished now? You're back in your favorite spot by the register, feeling fat, happy and ultimately satisfied. After devouring almost every treat in the safe. Oh, I'm such a bad cat. Sadly, it seems like you also forgot to close the safe. Neither you or Elle notice the person sneaking to the back room. Dangerous! While the owner was busy with customers and you were busy digesting those delicious treats, a seemingly normal customer snuck into the back room and robbed the store safe empty with only a few traces of cat treats left. Okay, better than nothing. At the end of the night, the owner finds the empty safe and is devastated. He looks at the security cameras to see who the culprit was. That's when he spots you. Hmm, some tear. Elle is angry and defeated with the entire situation and in a fit of rage he kicks you out of the store for good. Oh, this bodega is no place for a bad cat like you. Huh, what harsh words. So, we welcome customers and now I don't let them pet me. Now I swipe at them. Ah, a tear again. Your claws are sharper than you thought. The customer's arm is severely injured and all chaos ensues. People are angry, including your owner. Elle punishes you by kicking you out of the store. Oh, Looks like you'll be sleeping on the street tonight. Mmm, mean. I welcome the customers and let them pet me. So I get a treat. Such a good kitty. Then there's a story with the safe. I close it for him and get a special treat. Now I let the mouse go. You'll probably be able to catch it later before business picks up again. I don't think so. You were naive to think the mouse would scamper away without causing a problem. Because a woman with a cropped blonde hairdo is heard screaming not a minute later. Oh, come on, shut up. The bodega breaks out in chaos. Customers are either scrambling to free themselves from the scene or trying to do the job you failed to do and vanquish the evil pest that's found its way into the store. Oh, come on, don't overdo this. Nobody is safe. And neither are you. After the rampage dies down, Elle kicks you out of the store, but not before promising to find a new bodega cat who will actually do their job. Mm, such a big sad face. Welcome customers. They pet me. I get a treat. I close the safe and get a reward. It's a mouse and I go after it. A good job. Now I sleep off all 
those treats instead of running the register. Elle comes out of the back to see customers leaving the store without paying. He turns to you in a rage before grabbing you by the scruff and tossing you into a nice cozy corner on the street where you can sleep as long as you'd like. L is such a prick. When the bodega cat is a bit lazy. So run the register and then I can take a long nap. Time flies. I notice the mysterious figure is back. Now I don't check it out but leave it alone. 10 p.m. El snores continue to reverberate throughout the empty bodega. You're feeling pretty tired as well. You've had such a long day. You start to doze off and dream about those special treats hidden away from you in the safe when the bell above the door rings. There's a man with a black mask covering his face. Now I will save only myself. I'm so a selfish prick. Thankfully L is okay, but the robber got away with all of the money in the store. And he even took the treats. Oh, that's the worst of all. L is devastated. There's no way he can support his business now especially with the fear of having nothing and no one to truly protect him in his own bodega. You fail to protect your bodega. There must be at least still one ending I didn't find it's the ending where I go out to check and meet my ex boyfriend. Now I kick bread to the curb. Declining bread quickly goes from zero to 100. A small verbal altercation soon turns physical. He was never one for communication. So it's good that you left him. But bread was no match for the pain you still hold in your heart. Bread limps away, knowing not to ever mess with you again, and you head back into the bodega. Inside the store, there's a man with a black mask covering his face. I will get the good ending again now. When I save my special treats and my owner. Yes, here we are. Safe and sound. That was it. And it was fun. Very cute. Drawings. Keep cool. Keep crazy. And don't forget to meow.